Yeah, for those people who have been charged with shoplifting through these self-checkout lanes in Walmart and Target, it kind of takes a bit of gall on the part of these big companies. They've got us scanning and bagging our own stuff. They're saving tons of money on cashiers, but they're prosecuting us when we make a mistake. Well, look, Walmart's cashiers, Target's cashiers, they get training on these machines and all that training. They still make mistakes on the job, but they're not charged with a crime when they make a scanning mistake. If you or I forget to scan a few things, they're gonna charge us with petty theft or shoplifting, and you can go to jail for this. I mean, the good news is, even if you're guilty of sin, we defense attorneys, we can get this stuff dismissed. But the bad news is, I mean, the punishment is a bit harsh on these sort of things. And you face jail time, I doubt you're going to jail on this. So I would not worry about that. Do not lose any sleep. Even without jail, there's some nasty side effects like lots of probation, community service, classes, fines. Worst of all, you got this dark cloud of a criminal history that'll follow you around forever. And I know employers don't mind like a DUI, say, because everybody's had a few drinks. But theft, that's the sort of record. It's not like a gateway to good paying jobs, typically. So the truth is these cases are beatable because they're tough to prove. It's the state's burden to prove that you intended to steal this stuff. How do they prove someone intended to steal when you just made a mistake or two? We have something called the self-scan defense. It is just what it sounds like when you had no intent to steal something that you thought you scanned properly. Well, the problem is Florida law doesn't give us really a lot of guidance on how many mistakes constitute a crime, right? Versus not a crime. If you made one scanning mistake, that doesn't look like much of a crime. Even if three items were not scanned properly, who's to say the machine wasn't acting up when you tried to scan those three items? There's always this tension in a petty theft case, right? Between where's the line for a crime and human error and even machine error. In general, the more items you've legitimately bought, the less likely it is you've committed crime. If you walk into Walmart and you bought over 250 things, but you didn't scan three items, that's probably not a crime. But if you bought seven items and you forgot to scan three, you, you probably got a petty theft right there. Anyway, I mean, the great news is that we defense attorneys, we, we've got so many options on charges like this to get them dismissed. So I don't want you to get too down on yourself for making a mistake, whatever sort of mistake it turns out to be. I mean, stuff happens, but we can fix it. So it's not a problem. We can even erase the criminal history when all said and done. Let's not lose hope here. Get yourself a good attorney, a good local attorney, and it'll be just fine.